Hi, my name is Jason Bochniak. I'm here at the 2011 Ultimate Bike Builder Custom Bike Show in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm the current winner from the DC show and the New York show, which were the last two shows uh, out of uh, the 12 shows that this particular show series has. And what I'd like to do is talk to you about this build here and tell you about four companies that I use to create this motorcycle right here and the experience that I've had with these three companies. Uh, and I'd like to strongly recommend uh, each of the, the three company manufacturers that build the products and then I'd like to also recommend the company that built this bike for me. So uh, I'd like to start off first with Procharger uh, and, and go over the three. It's Procharger, T-Man Performance, D&D uh, &D, uh, Exhaust for the Borzilla on the other side, and then Freedom Cycle is the company that I use to put this together. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is this B1 tuner kit that Procharger makes. The B1 tuner kit is for anyone who has a motor that's had modifications done to it to accommodate the motor. So in this particular build, what we did was we reinforced the bottom end of the motor with a um, with a uh, dark horse crank. It's welded, balanced, dark horse rods, Weissco pistons. And for this kit, Procharger will sell you the entire kit. It's all self-sufficient and ready for bolt-on. They sell you this primary cover, the bracket, the supercharger itself, the crossover. On the other side, there's an air-to-air -air intercooler, and then there's the um, uh, complete unit that, that goes onto the manifold, the throttle body. So, first off, I'd like to talk about the Procharger with the Gates wet belt that they have inside. What they do is they have a modified uh, cog here, and then there's a Gates wet belt that goes all the way around, transfers to the outer belt out here, which transfers to the transmission. On this particular build, what we did was we put a 2.55 pulley on there to make the impeller spin just a little bit faster, and then there's a more aggressive impeller in there that they changed, and I think what they do is they uh, arbitrarily give you that impeller, uh, impeller with the, uh, the Procharger. Charger. Uh, over here is a pressure release valve. So when you are uh, under normal driving conditions, uh, the blower is always on, but when you're under normal, normal driving conditions and it feels vacuum, the pressure relief valve is open and it lets the air bypass out, or when you uh, let go of your throttle, it lets all the air bypass out so it doesn't collect in your uh, manifold. And then what we did for this particular build, uh, the pump that came with the bike was not flowing uh, to meet the requirements for the modifications that we made for the bike. And if you have a Pro Charger out there and you're starving for fuel a little bit, you may want to consider making what's called an FMU. An FMU is a fuel management unit. And what we've done here is we bought this Mallory fuel regulator. And on this side over here, there's a boost vacuum hose that's hooked up to the regulator. And all I did was I simply plumbed it right up into to the crossover that Harley has on the tank, so I didn't have to modify anything on the tank. The 100 PSI pump is regulated down to 65 PSI at normal operating conditions, and then as soon as it feels boost, pound for pound, it'll close off the crossover and force more fuel to the Magneti Morelli injectors that I have. I think I have 8.9 Magneti Morelli injectors that also come with the B1 tuner kit. Now, what we did over here is I had T-Man Performance do the head work, and T-Man Performance puts a, a very good product together. What they have is they have done a lot of research and development to complement this Pro Charger. He, uh, he has uh, several bikes that he uses the Pro Charger on. T-Man uh, TR at T-Man Performance currently holds the world record for the fastest bagger uh, out on the salt flats, and uh, this guy really knows what he's doing. Uh, if you were to take a look at these heads on the inside, what he's done is uh, he takes the heads, machines them, puts a larger intake valve, 2.020 intake valve, 1.650 exhaust valve. For the manifold and the intake, it's 1.800, and then he makes the uh, exit to the exhaust pipe bigger. Inside, the first thing you notice about this head is this 105cc uh, hemispheric combustion chamber, or almost hemispheric combustion chamber. And inside of there, he's got bronze valve guides. Uh, and if, if you look at him, uh, you can see that he's hand machined these things. And this guy's a real purist. He really knows what he does, and you can tell that he takes a lot of pride in what he does. As part of that, one of the uh, kits that he offers is the heads, the uh, stage four thumper series is what I went with here. And then he's got this three-stage oil pump that uh, has two stages that scavenge the oil from the bottom of the motor, and one stage that uh, obviously 
flows the oil back into the motor. And then he's got this 662-1 cam that uh, he created. And it is a perfect cam, perfectly timed for forced induction motors. Uh, you can go on to his website at uh, T-Man Performance, uh, and I don't know if I have this right, but if you Google search T-Man Performance, it'll take you right to his site. And you go on there, and you can actually look at different grinds of cams that he has, different kits that he has, and uh, different things that you can use with supercharged motors or naturally aspirating motors. And then. To marry this all together, we went to uh, Borzilla and got or D and D and got this uh, two into one D and D Borzilla exhaust. And let me tell you about this exhaust. This exhaust right here is, is beautiful. The first thing that you notice is this arc on the pipe right here, and the reason that is is because both pipes are exactly the same length to keep the back pressure the same. And then you see this huge collector back here. Uh, the baffle is actually that long, and um, inside that pipe, it, it, it makes such a beautiful sound yet meets all the back pressure requirements that you need for a uh, large size motor. This motor is a 103. We've complemented it with a 60 millimeter throttle body uh, to go along with it. There were some modifications that we had to do. The uh, B1 Pro Charger uh, does not naturally mount to a 60 millimeter throttle body, so there is some milling that is necessary for it. But I want to stress to you that the uh, Pro Charger company makes a bolt-on product that is perfect for a uh, stock motor, and it'll give you 60 percent more horsepower. What I have here is I have the Dyna Run that was taken at Freedom Cycle with this current build, and the first thing you can see is this straight line that goes all the way up here. That's your power at the rear wheel. So I've got uh, 171.62 at the rear wheel and then over here's the torque line that you see over here. And the funny thing about the torque line is, as you can see at about 53 or 5400 RPM, it kind of maxes out. You know what that tells you? That tells you that you don't need to rev your motor up real high. Uh, you can shift at 5500 RPM and you're at your max, uh, max torque. So um, what I do is uh, I, I have my shift lights set at uh, 5,500 RPM for that so I can save my motor because uh, I learned the hard way that the over revving a Harley Davidson is not the thing you want to do. So uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you this dyno run here and, and uh, just an extreme amount of power. If I were to let it run out to 7,000 RPM, I probably would have got 200 horse out of the motor. And then finally what I'd like to talk about is Freedom Cycle. Freedom Cycle is a local company in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. They uh, were, were great with the ideas uh, and, and the support that I get to help build this. Um, Kathy uh, and Frank over there have just been uh, the, really the best. They, they listen to everything I have to say and if they feel that I'm going in a direction that's not going to complement the bike best, uh, they'll, they'll give me recommendations and they've just been spot on every time. Uh, Freedom Cycle, like I said, is in Wilmington, Delaware. Their phone number is 302-798-6900. And uh, if you just Google search Freedom Cycle in Wilmington, you can see it, uh, their website. It'll come up. Uh, I'd like to also thank the Ultimate Bike Builder Competition for giving me the opportunity to show this bike. Uh, I I've, I've take a lot of pride and a lot of joy in this bike. And uh, outside of the glitter of the motorcycle, it mechanically is just a strong, strong motorcycle. Uh, we're getting 172 horse at the rear wheel, 143 foot-pounds of torque right now, which is just absolutely phenomenal for a soft tail. And this class that they have at the Ultimate Bike Builder Competition is great for a guy like me. I don't own a shop. Uh, I just I just had an idea and built a bike in my spare time and this class uh, for the ultimate uh, bike builder competition is the modified Harley class and there's two requirements you have to have the the frame that came with the Harley Davidson as well as the motor that came in the frame you can't modify the frame and as you can see I didn't modify the frame but I pretty much changed everything around it so it really gave me a chance to get into this industry and um, I have so many ideas to go further that I think I'm going to try and take it to the freestyle next year uh, because of this opportunity I'm, I'm kind of motivated to build my own bike so I just wanted to thank the Ultimate Bike Builder Contest for that.